Hello all. In this video session, we will be writing a program to sort strings in alphabetical order or lexicographical order. Okay. Now the input is number of strings n and the strings. Okay. Since we are using an array of strings, we will require a two dimensional character array because string is a character array and an array of string is an array of character array which is in turn a two dimensional character array. Okay. Now the output that we want is to print all the strings in alphabetical order. Since we are sorting, we will be using bubble sort technique. We have discussed in detail about bubble sort in one of our previous video session. And if you want to watch that, I will give a link to that in the description below. Okay. And then uh, for performing lexicographical comparison between two strings, we will be using strcmp of string dot h header file, and also we will be using strcpy for copying one string to another for the exchanging purpose. Okay, so now we will just write the program. So str is our array of strings or two dimensional array of characters. Okay. And temp is for swapping purposes. Okay. Then n will be having the number of strings. i and j are for iteration purposes. Okay. Okay, so we, we have written the code for entering the number of strings and it will be stored in n. Then print of enter the strings and we have read the strings. We have written the, we have wrote the code to read n strings using a for loop for equal zero i less than n plus plus i scan of percentages str of i. So each array element will be containing one string. Okay. And after that we have to write the code for sorting this okay So now this is our code. So this is uh, these two loops are our uh, logic for bubble sort. And uh, you know the I hope you already know the logic for bubble sort. It is a bubble sort for n elements. It will be having n minus one passes for. So the code is for i equal to zero, i less than n minus one plus plus i. Then each pass we will be comparing all the adjacent elements. So we will be going from j equal to 0 to j less than n minus 1 plus plus j. And after every pass the last element will be having the largest value. So we are giving a minus i. So after pass 1 the last element is is not required to check. But after pass 2 the last two elements are not required to check. That's why here it is given as minus i. Okay, so j less than n minus 1 minus i and the comparison is like the comparison is done using string comparison that is when we compared str j and str j plus 1 if they are not in alphabetic order then it will return a value greater than 0 if they are equal it will return 0 if they are in alphabetic order it will return a negative value okay so here okay, greater than 0 means they are not in alphabetical order Okay, so then both those values are to be swapped. So for that, we are using the function strcpy. So from str of j, it will be placed in temp. Then in str of j, the value will be placed from str of j plus 1. Then str of j plus 1, the value will be placed from temp. Okay, so our exchange process is done in these statements. Okay, now after that, Again, okay, on this for loop is for printing these data or these strings in 
alphabetic order okay now okay we have done we have read n then these strings then we have performed sorting then after that we are printing the strings okay now we will compile and see if there are any errors so gcc str sort dot c and output it to str sort dot out okay so no errors so i'm just going to run this str sort dot out okay so the number of strings let's give five okay and i'm going to give is it is it as is it bc abc edg and eas okay so now if you observe kbc then eas edg then is it as and after that is it bc so these strings are sorted in alphabetical order okay so this is the logic that is used to perform sorting in alphabetic order we have done it using bubble sort okay now in this program we have used the built-in functions strcpy and strcmp but in some scenarios they will ask you to write the program without using any built-in functions in that case you have to write your own code for implementing strcmp and strcpy okay I hope you have understood the logic. If you have any doubt, you can ask or uh, ask questions in the comment section below. Okay. Thank you.